hi everybody and welcome to our third parish lockdown um, diaries. Um, today I've been given the job of um, hosting because um, Alan is celebrating with Jack because Jack is 18 today. So um, Alan's given it over to me, which is a bit nerve wracking. Um, so basically we're going to just all introduce ourselves so that we, everybody knows who we are. So um, if we could just start with Claire. So Claire, if you go ahead. Yeah. So hi everyone, I'm Claire Davis. Most of you will know my mum, Andrea Davis, and some of you will remember my grandmother, Sheila Humphreys. I'm a performer and I've been part of the parish for 25 years, so all of my life really. <laughs> Great, fab. Um, Claire, we'll come back to you again later and hear about how you've been contributing to our live stream masses. Um, Aoife, do you want to go next? Um, yeah, hi, I'm Aoife. My mum is just down there um, and me and my family are all part of the parish. We have been for as long as I can remember. Even whilst I've been away to university and things, I think I've done a pretty good job of staying in contact. Um, so I've served as an altar server and I've gone to both St Helens and to Carmel Newman. I'm a student at the University of Oxford and I've just finished my final exams. She has indeed, yeah. Okay, that was a big relief, I'm sure, Aoife. God, yeah. Strange it's over, but good. Great. Um, Kieran, hi. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Kieran. I just finished year 13 in Cardinal Newman, and I've got a conditional year, conditional offer in the University of the West of England. Um, we've been part of the parish since 2003 when we moved from Surrey. And my parents are Margaret Davidson and Stuart Davidson. Margaret Davidson was in the last episode of Lockdown Diaries. Yeah, she was. It was like the Irish episode last time. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. Um, Jen, do you want to go next? Yeah, I'll go next. Um, I'm Jenny, otherwise known as Mrs. Goff. Uh, I've been part of, of the parish since 2007, when my daughter was born. Before that, I was part of St. Defrick's. Um, and I mostly went to St. Defrig's and the link with St. Helens was also to go to St. Helens school, really. That was where I started coming there. And my dad moved from that as well, so he stopped going to St. Defrig's. All right. And you're also in Cardinal and Newman? I, so. Yeah, I'm also in Cardinal Newman. And I was speaking to the caretaker of St. Defrig's, Dave, today in St. Michael's school, which was <laughs> my primary school. So that was really nice. Oh, lovely. And girls, hello. Hi, I'm Jen. Um, I'm now. And we're the twins that you might often see singing in church. Um, I play violin and I do altar serving. Um, we're both uh, just finished our ASs. Oh, I see. Um, we've been part of the parish for about eight years. Um, we both went to St. Helens. Fab. Okay. Um, so we're. Sorry, girls. Okay, so um, now we're going to um, move on and we're going to have a, a chat about how our lockdown diaries have, um, our lockdown experience has been going. Um, I think that, you know, last week we did mine. Um, so everybody has a lockdown story to tell, I'm sure. Um, so again, if we go back to Claire first, and um, Claire, how's lockdown been? Um, it's been a very strange experience. So as for most people, it did start off quite negative. We were supposed to be going to my brother's wedding on the 4th of April. But oh, no. got, yeah, it got postponed. Luckily to a date they wanted, but it's still disappointing. Um, all of us, um, so my partner and my mum who live here um, have had to work from home. And the only space they could use is my studio. So uh, it's, oh, been yeah. a challenge. <laughs> it's been a bit of a challenge um, figuring out who can go in there. But I think we've done really well. We've worked out the best time. So that's been good. Um, I, the last day I worked was on the 16th of March. So I've just been trying to be as busy as I can during the time. But on the positive of that is I have learned a lot of new skills. 
so I've been helping my mum with DIY so we did build a shed last week which I never thought I'd be doing oh amazing <laughs> and um, helping out with the music for the parish has been what I've mainly been doing which has been really interesting yeah we loved um, we loved your layered song the other day where you sang all the different parts that was amazing oh thank you very much so yeah. it's been a good experience um figuring out how to put each part together so brett will come to me and ask if i could do certain um for the certain parts together and musicians like kira and others will do the music and then we could bring it together so it's just amazing that we've been able to do that Fantastic. Yeah, it, it sounds fantastic. And, and, you know, you're really contributing to making the, the whole mass celebration so fantastic. So what's it like living with your parents, Claire? Um, it's okay, to be honest. We all get on. So that's a good start. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. Because it, it is tricky as you get older. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Emma. Hello. How are you? Good. Good, good. Welcome. Emma, we've all done our introductions, so would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm Emma. Um, I'm in year six from St. Helen's School, um, and um, I'm 11, and I live with my mum, dad, brother, and two brothers. Fantastic. Lovely to see you. Thank you. We're just going around now asking everybody about their lockdown experiences. So we've heard from Claire. So now we're going to go to Kieran. So Kieran, if you don't mind going next. Yeah, um, I think like everyone, I have good and bad days. So, you know, some days I kind of forget that we're in lockdown, but then other days, you know, it's not lockdown to end. But um, it's good because Brett keeps asking me to do a lot of music for the mass live streams and I think the most recent one was the Vice BR Light which I think is going to be played next week or the week after but yeah. um, I also play piano as well so I play songs like Lewis Capaldi, Ed Sheeran but I'm also trying to do a lot of Irish songs as well and oh, I record so, yeah I record the songs and then do like more modern arrangements of them because usually Irish songs are quite old yeah. And then so I what, what kind of Irish songs? I do this song called New Grange, uh, Will Gilmar. And oh, wow. they're, the two that I, they're the two that are on my Facebook page at the moment. And I'm in the middle of doing one at the moment. Oh, fantastic. I must have uh, a look. And um, apart from that, I just, I have definitely learned a lot about housework. That's what Anon said in the last episode. <laughs> um, and I think it's made me appreciate how hard my parents work, especially to work five days a week and then come home to do all the jobs and to cook as well. So it's yeah. definitely made me appreciate how hard they work. That's and yeah, apart from that, I've just started up baking. So I've done, I think I've made a chocolate cake, I've made cupcakes, a uh, marble cake, which I was quite proud of. And um, last Saturday, I done cookies, but um, I burnt them. <laughs> oh, no. But, um, <laughs> doing that, by the way, tasted okay. It was just a bit crispy. But, um, yeah. So we all know where to go if we want a cup of tea. Oh, well, they're not, like that. They're not that, that nice, but, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, no. um, so thank you, Kieran. Um, Aoife? Um, yeah, I suppose like anyone else my lockdown experience has been odd. Um, when this all started, I was still in university um, in the middle of writing my dissertation. And so I was very much in a bubble. And then all of a sudden, like everything was locking down, like the university was closing. We had to kind of get out and get home. Um, and despite the fact that I'm now at home and I'm living with my family, I, for the past kind of three months, have done nothing, basically nothing but revision. So whilst everyone else has been out picking up new skills and things, I've been hard at work, sat at my desk, which has been its own kind of interesting. Like I think, like my younger sister, for example, is going completely mad, like she's run out of things to do, whereas I still have now the whole of the summer to learn new things, go out and 
go for walks and paint and do DIY and things like that. So it's been kind of a blessing in disguise that way. Um, and definitely like, obviously, I imagine like most people, my life and my interactions have been framed around Zoom. So the old pub quiz, I'm sure everyone has done <laughs> quite a lot of those. Um, so that's been quite an interesting facet of kind of expanding knowledge, seeing people because between the various family groups and like between my various groups of friends, it means you've constantly got people wanting to see you and wanting to talk, which is always nice. Um, yeah. So I've also just finished my finals. I'm in my second, third day of freedom. So I'm sure if you ask me in two weeks, I'd probably be going a little bit mad, but I'm still quite optimistic about the entire thing. Yeah, we, we kept forgetting that poor Aoife was still studying. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so she's had a bit of a rough ride. <laughs> okay, Emma, how's lockdown? Um, it's been all right. Um, but I think when as schools closed, and one of the main things is like obviously that I'm having to be homeschooled now, and it's been quite hard. Cause also, I feel like when you are in a like a school environment and a classroom environment, it kind of like you kind of work better anyway. Yeah. Um. And also like the, like the lack of communication with your teacher, even like, cause like if you are like having a bit of misunderstanding with the work, like yeah. you can't really ask, like you, something that your parents can't do because like they didn't create the work. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and also the clubs are all, obviously all closing. Um, and also like um, exercise clubs as well, the clubs as well. So we've been like doing our own exercise instead of going to like our hockey and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, as far as like my relatives um they live quite far away anyway so we don't see them that much like once every six months like if possible um like in the holidays usually so like but because of the situation with everybody else has been when they're like quite close to their like relatives we've been doing a lot of zoom chat so we've actually spoken to each other like more than we usually would <laughs> Yeah, we're the Which same. I think is quite nice, but with my friends, obviously, I miss all of them going to school and all that. Um, and yeah. so I've been doing Zoom calls with them as well. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, so that's how you keep in touch with Zoom, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Who knew that Zoom was a thing three months ago? <laughs> yeah. So, Emma, um, is Mrs. Mansfield piling on the work? Yeah. <laughs> it's been quite good. The work's been quite good, though. It's, it has been quite good. It's just harder when you're not in a classroom with everybody else because obviously there's no group work and partner work then as well so you there's some work that is physically like not possible to do when you're on your own yeah and I, I guess that you know you're in year six so it must be quite hard because you've missed PGL and everything have you yeah oh so like, all the end of year stuff it's kind of just been skimmed over and we've just kind of yeah yeah oh well onwards to Newman's Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Mrs. Goff, do you want to go next? Jenny? Muted. Yes, I'll go next. Um, I've continued to go into the hub one day every week, so that's been really nice. The children have been wonderful. So that sort of kept me going out of the house one, one day a week. Um, obviously, it's been really sad. Some of my friends have lost a stepmother, an uncle and an auntie. So that's been like, it's been very hard to support them because I haven't been able to go round, haven't been able to go to a funeral. Um, so just have it, it's not the same on the phone. Uh, so that's been really hard. But from a lockdown point of view, from my personal point of view, I found it very positive. So it's, I feel like I shouldn't say that, but I've enjoyed not driving. I've enjoyed walking more. Um, I've enjoyed social media disappearing and when I broke my phone which I think was last week maybe Monday I suddenly didn't have my emails from work unless I put the laptop on and I think that's been really healthy so I was replying on a Saturday and a Sunday and I'm, I'm happy to reply you know I wasn't told to and I just think if, if a child sends me something like if Emma sent me an email saying look at my work miss I'd want to reply but now it's been taken away from me. I can't. So I've can't. I've, I've done it even less. Um, I phone my mother every morning. I get up at about the six. And when I had my mobile, I take the dog straight away and I phone her at about quarter to, quarter to seven. Or at some time, so I speak to my mother for about half an hour. And then I'll phone her throughout the day. 
if it's like an emotional day, I'll phone her about five times. <laughs> if it's a very, very good day, I might only phone her once in the evening. Um, Are yeah. you sure it wasn't your mother broke your phone? Pardon? Are you sure it wasn't your mother broke your phone? <laughs> it, was, it was me, <laughs> definitely me. Um, we've done a lot of the school work, Emma, a lot of St. Michael, uh, St. Helen's school work, and we've done it in books on paper because I, 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 I'm not very good technically anyway um, and I've enjoyed doing things on paper. Evie's found it very difficult being eight years old, she's found it hard to start the family um, but for me walking has been wonderful and just getting back with nature and taking it calmer and walking through the trees and put my hands in the little streams which are close by when I'm hot and splashing water myself it's almost it's almost quite a religious experience just being part of the earth that like you, you know like being outside walking um, and we did come to uh, church once it was on Easter Saturday and it was horrific so we were we were in bed because it's quite late and uh, Evie was next to me she was staying up to watch church and I've told father this and she said uh, oh look at father there how could he do all that on his own? Who's helped him? I was like, no, no, he's done it all on his own. And then she said, I can hear music. Brett's in the church. I said, no, Brett's not there. Oh, it's Jack, is it? No, mm -hmm. he's not there. Oh, well, how come he's got music? Because if they're not there, we have silence in church. We don't have any music. So she, it was very argumentative. And in the end, she cried to sleep. And I thought, I'm not doing this again. Church isn't on Facebook or it's for me it's not a social media so I found it I've, I have found it very hard to watch I have watched sometimes at the beginning but uh, I, I haven't found that easy to have churches as um, social media like a social media church but yeah. I suppose I've replaced it with a walk so I'll always do a Sunday walk I do walk every day but I think that has been my replacement it is interesting that, you know, people have found that their lives are in some ways enriched from not having the pressures of everyday life and the need to be somewhere quite quickly. So girls, yes. how's, your, so how's your lockdown experience? Um, it's been quite bizarre, if I'm honest. Um, um, we had to isolate before schools actually shut down um, oh, no. because we were family. Um, but we were quite afraid that we'd miss out on a lot of work and there was still uncertainty about exams and um, so we were quite stressed about that mm -hmm. but quite conveniently schools closed down very soon after we stopped attending um, and all exams are cancelled so that stress was gone yeah. but at the same time it was we were now faced with what we do with our time now um, and we still have school work until the 22nd I think but yeah so um, like um in a lot of my lessons, I've moved on to A2 now, so the work is like piling on a lot of work and sometimes it's quite difficult to do everything because yeah. um, I lack that routine and it's quite difficult trying to follow um, my college timetable while I'm in the house because there's so many distractions. So everyone is like, wants to come in and have a little chat while you're trying to do your work and it's just so hard to concentrate. So I've been trying to keep up with my A2 work. And as well as that, this would have been the time that I did work experience. And I just haven't got that time and I can't go out to do the work experience. And it's, I've found that quite difficult. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So what's yeah. happened with your exams, girls? Are they just predicted grades? Yeah. All of them have been cancelled. They're kind of like predicted grades, but they're not allowed to go off the uh, predicted grades in the start of the year. And they have to have evidence from all of our work throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, and they're not allowed to focus on any work we did after lockdown either. So there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to exam grades. But we just have to wait to be in August. But if we're not happy with our exam grades, we can, we're can we allowed to do our AAS exams next year. Or we oh, can nice. the grade that they give us this year. Um, that would be quite a big ask to do A2 and AES together, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's quite, it would it'd be quite a lot of exams. And I don't really like the idea of having to do that much two years worth of work in, in one year. Um, so as well as the A2 work, I've currently been studying for the UCAT.
because I want to study medicine at university. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, my, I'm really fortunate that my school offers um, a group where we talk about how to get into medicine. So I've had that almost every Tuesday and we've been doing UCAT work on there. Uh, okay. for, unfortunately, unfortunately, the UCAT exam has been delayed, so it's a bit of like, we are not sure what's happening with that, so that's quite difficult. It's just very uncertain education-wise, but like uh, Miss Goff said, we've been able to enjoy going on a lot of walks because we live so close to the mountains and it's so nice. And it's, it's, it's very grounding going out there. And whenever we do have a slump, I think going outside and changes our moods entirely. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, and I think going back to the school experience, Jen and I have very different experiences mm -hmm. because while she's continuing with her courses, um, I made a decision um, a few months ago to retake my ASs and do different subjects. So oh, wow. Me, do any 80 courses? Mm -hmm. um so i've had the freedom which i think is quite nice to um look into the subjects i'm looking into doing now um and i get the freedom to work on skills that i wanted to do but i didn't have time to do um when i was doing my a levels um because i thought that's what i need to focus on and doing that i realized that the reason that things are my hobbies is because i love them so much and that's what i should have viewed yeah. um so that me strengthen my decision yeah, well, I mean, the, yeah, that's fantastic because really you should do the subjects that you enjoy doing rather than what you're expected to do, yeah. you know what I mean. Emma, have you learned any new skills? Um, yeah, uh, we've actually, it's been quite good with Scouts, because like, we've been doing um, like Zoom calls on that at weekly as well. And so we are learning a lot of the things on there. So we're still learning in Scouts, like with... Um, and we also, it was, it was due to have a camp like last weekend or this weekend, sorry. Um, and so we did like a virtual one as, as it's been like postponed. Um, oh, wow. and so like we were, we were like cooking outside, making like stoves out of like pop cans, like doing a lot of different things like that. Amazing. And also I've been doing a lot more baking than usual because I've like had the time, I guess, like by not going to school. Um, and I guess we all like, my whole family we've been staying up later and like watching more family films because like we're knowing that we're not gonna have to get up early in the morning to go to school yeah. so it's like we are like getting up later and going to bed later as well Fab. um kieran you've obviously now not doing your as's or your a levels so was that strange to go from being under pressure for exams to no pressure at all yeah, I remember reading it on the internet, everyone was like, oh, the exams have been cancelled. I thought, are you joking or not? Because I couldn't tell if they were being serious, but then I saw it and then I couldn't believe it. <laughs> then obviously I'm a bit worried about university because I don't know if I'm going to get my, um, I think I need a, 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 B or A, B, B, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get that for my predicted grades, but hopefully they'll be quite lenient. Because okay, so you're happens. like the girls, you'll get predicted grades as well. Yeah. Okay. And what about university? Have they been in contact with what potentially could happen in October? Oh, yeah. Um, I got an email saying, I think it's the 21st to the 15th of October. It's going to be online, maybe. And then, but it's not actually the actual course. They'll, they're going to give us online lectures about um, ICT skills that we need and stuff. And okay. then on the 15th, I think it's the 15th of October, that's when the course actually starts. So I'm, I'm studying psychology and they said it might be online, but it might not be, but we're allowed to move into our accommodation. So oh, that's good. it's not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great that you might be able to move in because it would be a yeah. shame if you're not, yeah. So Claire, have you taken up baking or anything? I've always been into cooking, but because um, I've had the time, I've been trying to learn maybe more difficult things to bake and cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been a, it's been like Bake Off here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for the John, maybe that's our next Zoom thing. Yeah, come and bake, come bake with us. <laughs> 
Oh no. So Mrs. Gop, how's it like for a teacher then to sort out all of these predicted grades and everything? Is that uh, a big well, job? It's a huge job, but Mr. Perkins has then has taken the lead on that. So absolutely huge. And of course, like uh, the girls and Keelan said, there needs to be evidence as well. So yeah. it's, it's a very big job. But I was listening to Emma and I don't know if she, she said that in the nights now she's watching a film every night and she's going to stay, stay in bed maybe a little bit longer. And what I've noticed is um, like we're normally rushing about, picking a baby from school, getting home, whatever. So one of the elements which has changed in our family life is that tea is on the table, apart from today now. Tea, tea is on the table at five o'clock. And I have found, and I'm not saying that we didn't normally have a nice tea, we've always sat around the table. But since lockdown, we have tea, five o'clock, when Mike gets in, he gets in about half past four, normally he's, he's only just arrived tonight. And we laugh for the entire hour that we're eating. And we don't just like have a little giggle. I love to laugh and I laugh out loud. Every, every <laughs> single time we have tea, sometimes it's a bit stressful if the day's been difficult. But that real laughter, which comes with a lack of stress and a lack of just being home, not having to rush back, being prepared, having the food, doing that one weekly shop instead of doing lots of little shops. Yeah. So I don't know if Emma's noticed that her mum and dad, and maybe, I know your mum's still in work, but maybe you've noticed that it's a bit, mum and dad are a bit um, more relaxed at home. Yeah, it's definitely been a little bit less stressful, like having to get up in the morning and then I'm like with Andrew and Christopher uh, getting up a little bit later and dad's screaming at them to get up and then, but it's totally <laughs> like up our own time and going to bed at our own time. And I guess it's a bit less like, on schedule it's a bit more free and it's a bit like in that kind of enables it to be a little less stressful yeah and I, I guess Emma you did lots of clubs and things so you know for a parent trying to get everybody fed and out and to the club and back and in bed is... yeah we, we haven't done like had to do like loads of long car journeys to go to hockey matches and then like if you drive into all these clubs and then like have to drive quite a while as well so we, for the driving it's like we haven't been in a car at all because like oh. usually every week we're going like two and a half hours to hockey match and now yeah. like, when we were in the car the other day just to like um just have a drive and um, we were like oh my god we haven't been in a car for ages oh wow that's hilarious so emma um you said that you do exercise so do you do a set exercise or do you just go for a walk or uh, our family has been going for a lot of kind of walks because we've been doing like all of like the mountains and hills like around our house so like all the mountains we can at least see from our house we've been like going on like around like a big circle around them so, like all the peaks around our house um, and around Caffilly we've been doing that so we have been going on quite a lot of long walks and that's like tired us all out and like sapped all our energy out of us. Uh, excellent. Aoife are you going to get going now with your exercise? Yeah, um, so I was maybe slightly against my will when I got home signed up for PT sessions. And I will admit that even though he's got me getting up at like nine o'clock in the morning to do horrific amounts of exercise, you do feel so much better for it. Like doing proper exercise kind of once a week and then going out kind of at other times, like we've got the dog who will just walk and walk and walk most of the time. So kind of getting out and doing exercise I think has been the one thing that's kind of kept me sane in the right of kind of revision and lockdown and dealing with kind of the stress and the emotions of it all. Yeah and I mean like like Kieran and the girls to a certain degree at least you you will get proper results but you're going to miss out on graduation and things aren't you? Yeah I mean that's kind of the fear of it is that our results are still going to be very much a reflection of what we can do which might be a good thing it might be a bad thing like i suppose we won't know until results day but um yeah i don't know i still feel like there's a lot of anxiety there like the way we sat our exams was so unlike the way we've been kind of trained and prepared over the course of three years to do them that i think everyone is kind of still a bit in the unknown yeah. but yeah so and like looking to the future obviously is a bit scary because getting a job 
but um yeah i think i don't know i don't know if it's better or it's worse like i think if i had been an able student and someone told me exams are cancelled it would have been the best thing that ever happened to me but i appreciate that it's it's not the same for everyone all right well i don't know am i lucky to start my exam yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, Claire, have you been exercising and things? Have you been doing stuff like that? Yeah, I've been doing quite a lot more exercise recently. <laughs> oh, wow. So um, I do the exercise bike for 30 minutes, um, five days a week. Um, right. Karate on a Wednesday. Um, hit exercises two days a week and then an abs class exercise three days a week so I'm trying to walk as well so keeping busy <laughs> oh my god Terry you're putting the rest of us to shame <laughs> oh no no <laughs> oh wow so do you do that on your own or do you do it with your partner or no I do it on my own oh, right, I do it, sure. yeah all on my own so with some of them um I get a video sent to me to follow but the rest I just do by myself <laughs> Okay, so you're quite disciplined then. Um, sometimes. <laughs> so would you would you have had time for that level of exercise before lockdown? And uh, no, I probably would have been too tired to even try that much exercise after finishing work and other commitments. So it's good that I've got the time to do it now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's it's strange, isn't it? How stuff like that has become so big and. You know, I know Fiona is very disciplined. She'll she'll do her exercise every day. I I'm not so so I'm not so disciplined. What about you two girls? Do you exercise? Yeah, we used to do weight training before lockdown. So it's kind of gutting when uh, all the gyms closed. Yeah. Um, but we kind of just took it with a pinch of salt, and we've been trying new methods. So yeah, we do our walking, but. Um, I like to work out alone, so we tend to do it separately, yeah. um, and we do very different exercises, I think. So I try to, like, we've got, like, really small weights, so, like, the biggest one we've got is five kilograms, so I try and use that, and I try and do, like, a, a lightweight session, maybe about two times a week, and then with my older sister, we were doing, um, we were doing a workout challenge for a little bit, um, following, like, a, 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 a person on YouTube. Um, that kind of out the window a couple of days ago, but um, we were quite disciplined with that for about two weeks, um, and that was good. Just getting the endorphins just picks you up, and and it's, and it gives you like a sense of pride in yourself that you like got through something really hard. Yeah, so yeah. I enjoy that kind of. Yeah, and um, for me, I kind of because um, I can't do weight. I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of person, so I've just dropped weights entirely at the moment. I'd be doing more hit workouts like Claire um, and just trying to work on um, using my own body weight, kind of like calisthenics kind of things, because yeah. I can't work to save my life. So I've been really trying to work on that and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Claire, what, what are you most looking forward to when lockdown is over? I'm really looking forward to being able to see my family and friends again because. A Zoom meeting just isn't the same. You can't really hug anyone or anything. So I am really looking forward to being able to spend time with them properly. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the same. I think whatever age you are, isn't it? It's a, kind of a universal part of it. Anything else? Any anything you're particularly missing? I'm really missing performing properly as well because recording's not the same as as well. It's nice to have um, an audience you can perform to. So yeah. that'll be really lovely when I could do that again. So do you, do you do things like weddings and things as well? Yeah, so lots of events, um, mostly weddings. I do children's entertainment as well. So oh, wow. it'd be nice to get back into that again. So are all those weddings cancelled, Claire? Yeah, all of them were cancelled, but hopefully next year. <laughs> yeah. I oh, see. So you better you better lie down somewhere for, until next year because you'll be very busy next year when they all <laughs> these crossed. all these weddings are catching up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fab. Um, what about you, Kerry? What are you most looking forward to? Don't say my Probably, uh, Oh, well, I am looking forward to that, but um, the actual <laughs> thing opening. But um, I think I'm just mostly looking forward to uh, Barbara's reopening. <laughs> 
because my hair's getting a bit long and I'm getting a bit traumatized with my dad cutting my hair all the time. So, <laughs> <laughs> but um, apart from that, I just like Claire said, just meeting family and friends and not having to worry about social distancing. I think yeah. things like that are things that we took for granted, but lockdowns made us realize how special those kind of things are. So, yeah, and, you, and you're like us, your family live quite far away, don't they, in, in a different country? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just knowing when that's going to open up and we'll be able to go again. Yeah. 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 Um, Jenny, what are you looking forward to? I, I'm actually, obviously I'm looking forward to seeing my family. I'm seeing my sisters on the Zoom. I'm keeping in touch with them, so that's really nice. But I'm looking forward to making some big changes and not going back to the way we were. Yeah. And, and yes, yeah, so, and not going in the car so much and doing slightly less and thinking a bit more before I say yes to things and, like, and making long-term changes. And also, when you ask about the hobbies, I've done a huge amount of work to the house, to the garden. Um, and I feel like I was passing through the house before. Always going, like, like visiting or going somewhere. And I feel more settled now. So I think my changes after lockdown can be slightly different. Yeah. I feel very connected to my sisters and my mother and my father. But I, I, obviously that would be the big thing, going to see them and having a hug. Yeah, it's amazing having time to do those projects that you never did. Yeah, yeah, but they weren't really even projects. It's things like painting the hallway. Well, <laughs> well we had, that's the thing you just do in the house. We had, had a door, we had a door with only handle one side, and we put a handle yeah. on it the other day. But it had uh, been like I, that for about six months. Yeah, so it's all those sort, all those sorts of things, and a lot of creative things as well, which I I can do quite quickly. So I've done a huge amount of creative painting as well as like practical painting. Oh, but fantastic. it's really um, changed the feeling of the house as well. Yeah, yeah. Emma? Um, yeah, to? I feel like uh, obviously I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends and that and going back to school. But like also that just like the, the little things like you're just going, so, like going places to do stuff as well. Um, and like just going to the park and things. Um, and also, like, I think it's it'd be nice. It's nice to like get. It's just like nice to like get back on the hockey pitch, and like ha do all the things that we like used to do. Um, but like, I think it is nice to like not have to worry as well about like social distancing and always like because like when even if you meet someone, we're up with someone like in your back garden, like like two meters apart, or like go on a cycle ride with somebody like again two meters apart, like. You, you like you're always still like thinking about it and like worrying about it and that's all you kind of like think about and talk about then and like yeah. it's nice just like not have that as the topic and just like get out of school and, and be normal I guess yeah that, that's true yeah and and what 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 kind of things would you actually miss about lockdown um I guess like going on the long walks because it, it is quite fun and like I mean like once we get back from school we're always like really tired out and now on the weekdays we're always like right let's go to walks let's do this let's do that and like now we were saying that like there's no difference between weekends and weekdays like, we're just doing bits of work and bits of this and bits of that um like spread throughout the week and I think when like school comes back and all that we won't be doing as much stuff and then yeah. like also like productive like side of things i think yeah. it all would have gotten a, a little bit better because we're more like used to doing more stuff now but it will definitely like go down a lot i think yeah yeah it's it's amazing isn't it how much time is taken up with school and stuff that you don't even realize mm, me and my friends were saying when we were on a zoom call like we just can't wait to get back to school like that's not something we say often but we just can't <laughs> Mm. I'm sure Mrs Mansfield's looking forward to seeing you too, Emma. Mm. Um, girls, what are you looking forward to doing? I really miss hugs. <laughs> oh. I really miss hugs. Um, I'm quite a hugger, so when I went to college, I used to hug all of my friends. And I kind of miss being able to do that and just being in a group with them. Yeah. Um, and, and like Emma said, I miss being able to go out 
for the purpose of doing activities and not just walking um, because we don't have much to do um, to go outside of the house because of the restrictions. So it'd be nice to be able to go out thinking, oh, I'm going to go to the cinema today or I'm going to visit the park. Yeah. 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 I've, I've missed my friends quite a lot. It's just talking to people online isn't the same as having a face-to-face -face conversation. I've really struggled with that aspect of talking to my friends. Um, and as Miss Goff was saying, I, I want to make sure that when quarantine is over that I don't go back to the way I was before because I feel like a lot of things have happened um, during this time period that have been quite life-changing. Yeah. So things based upon what's happening in America, even though that's so far away, I feel like it's had a big impact on what's happening in the UK. Yeah, um, I agree with you. Yeah. So the Black Lives Matter, I feel like that, that campaign, it's, it's having a bigger impact in the UK as well with all the statues coming down. And I've been quite aware, I'm trying to educate myself on everything that's happening um, based upon race in the world. And there's just so much to learn. I want to make sure that I keep learning that after quarantine and keep um, educating myself and looking at news to see what's happening yeah. because it's right. Yeah. yeah, so you've got informed knowledge rather than yeah. media knowledge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think the, the growth of the movement and quarantine have aligned quite well because it's given people the opportunity to actually say, no, I'm not going to just look past this. I'm not too busy mm -hmm. to think about this. I think I need to reflect on it now. Yeah. And more people than ever have the opportunity to really reflect on what they already know. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's really important. So it is a great positive from lockdown. Yeah. And I think that's true of um, lots of things, not, not just that campaign. I think that people's awareness of things that are going on in the world have, have become more acute because they do... We do have more time. We, we've kind of left our busy lives a bit. Yeah. yeah. Aoife, what are you looking forward to? I know, I know what Aoife's going to say. Um, yeah, well, along with everyone else, it's just seeing friends and family. Like, I haven't seen my boyfriend since lockdown started. Um, so getting to go, like, be able to get into England, for starters, to, so I could see him, but also to be able to go back to Oxford to meet my friends and to celebrate the fact that like exams are over, university is over. But then almost moving past that, it's like just being able to get on with the next chapter of my life. Like having come to the end of university, there's no real natural next step now because obviously the economy is in crisis. Like getting a job is going to be incredibly difficult. Um, going back to uni is becoming a much more complex option because of the nature of like teaching and things like that. Um, so I think just having some sort of sense of normal to return to so that I can kind of like move past this weird transition phase and begin to kind of like move on. Yeah, that's like true. I'm sure mum and dad love having me here all the time. We do. But... <laughs> we love having a house full of girls. <laughs> yeah, I just think seeing some change, like obviously taking what we've learned from lockdown, like, got, like Mel and Jen were saying, I think there's a lot that we should take and we should definitely hang on to moving forward but then I think like the actual moving forward is going to be the best part for me. Fantastic yeah okay thanks guys that was amazing you were really good I think for the John will turn off the record button now for us <laughs>